Today I'm gonna be doing my nails with products from Ulta. I was like, I'm looking at Dior. I got dip and I got gel polish pro kit. Okay, now. So I wanted to check out Ulta because I saw that they had some new products that I have never tried. And I was going to various stores and they all kind of just sell the same thing. But when I went into Ulta, I was like, okay, these are some nail products that I can try out. <laughs> Too much money at Ulta. <laughs> <laughs> like Halloween candy. <laughs> <laughs> you spent too much money in there. Hey, but the nails about to be cute. <laughs> they ought to be ashamed of themselves for all that. <laughs> Prices was high. high. Oh, but that cake's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely need that for traveling. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> All right, I get the purse up off the floor. It's raining. Okay, take me home, great sale. <laughs> oh, I'm the chauffeur now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, your girl went in there and spent way too much money. <laughs> But I wanted to try out all of this stuff. So yeah, this red carpet manicure brand, I've never seen them before. I'm not sure if they're in other stores, but they are all up and through Ulta. Obviously the first thing that caught my eye was this. And this is the Celebrity Manicurist Ultimate Gel Polish Pro Kit. It comes with gel polish, a lamp, top coat, base coat, just pretty much everything you need, you know, for gel nails or gel polish nails. But I'm gonna open this up in a second, but I'm gonna show y'all the rest of the stuff that I got. Okay, so next is this dip kit. I was looking to see if they had like acrylic or something like that, but to build the nail, all they had was dip powder. So that's what we're doing today. I know that these are like professional products, but I was a little taken back because if you look at this box here, this is the, the color dip must haves kit. So this is everything you need for doing, well, I'm not even gonna say everything. This is mostly everything you need to do dip nails. You get all this stuff, except for the dip powder. Cause I was about to check out and I was like, okay, do I have everything I have in here? And so I was looking at the contents and it was like dip powder not included. Bruh. Oh, I'd have been so mad if I bought this, got home, and didn't have the dip powder. So they had different colors of dip powder. Since I was wanting to do kind of more polish and stuff like that, I just picked up just a base dip powder. Well, two, to see which ones I want. So this is gonna be like a, like a nude base. But yeah, you have to buy the dip powder separately. But they had a lot of colors, so you know. I guess, <laughs> but it's not like Amazon. You gotta buy everything a la carte. All right, so next I picked up some of their gel polishes. Uh, Okay, I thought this was, what is this? Oh, there's a difference. Okay, so most of them, I got the Fortify and Protect, and this is gel polish that has vitamin A and biotin in it, so. It's good for you. <laughs> but yeah, I got these colors. I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. So, you know, I just grab stuff like, ooh, reds, pinks. And then I grab this one as well. This one doesn't have any vitamins in it, but I like the color, so. <laughs> I just saw this cuticle pusher tool, this all-in-one nail tool. So I went ahead and picked that up just to try it out, see how it is. And this is the top coat you use for the chrome powders. I got a few of the chrome pins. I thought this was pretty cool. You typically don't see like chrome powders over the counter. So yeah, I wanted to get them. And I also picked up, I'm guessing this is just a silver glitter gel polish. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything. Oh, and I just picked up these stickers in case I'm gonna use them. I thought they were really cute. All right, that is my Ulta haul. Let me go ahead and prep my nails because they need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this cuticle pusher and uh, hopefully this will help me prep. So this is what we looking like. Ooh, it's fancy. Let's 
see, this is what I hate about retail packaging. Like, <laughs> how am I supposed to cut that? Let me go get some scissors. All right, I found my scissors. But this is so like tight in here. Oh, please don't cut myself. Okay, I got it. <laughs> that was a little dangerous. All right, so this is what the manicure tool looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to <laughs> put my phone on silent. It's too many notifications. So this is what the manicure tool looks like. Red carpet manicure. And we got these little plastic things on the ends. And uh, all right, it's heavy too. But yeah, my nails need some work. So if y'all follow me on Instagram or saw my community post here on YouTube, y'all know that I just got back from New York and I had the opportunity to do a major collaboration. I cannot wait to share, but oh my God, my nails been through it, okay? It was pretty much like how I film here at home, but times that by 10 because it was like professional shoot. It was people everywhere, all moving pieces and my nails were one of them. Them, so they have been worked. <laughs> so I need to go ahead and do some prep and we're gonna be a little, little gentle. I have a little bit of residue left over. I'm gonna go ahead and file that off, but we're just gonna gently push back my cuticles. All right, this has a nice little um, end here to kind of get the scraping. I wonder how this other end would do too. We can probably do some, okay. All right, I see, it scoops it. Not bad. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this little side scraper thing, but it's getting the job done. All right, so next I'm gonna take my nail drill and we're just gonna do a little bit of filing. Like I was saying, I still have a little bit of residue left over, so I need to file everything off. And I'm also gonna take the shine away from my nails as well. Get them nice and prepped for our dip powder. This is, you know, this is optional. You don't have to use a nail drill. If you wanna just use a hand file, you can. This is just faster. I'm just gonna cut down my nails. More than likely, I'll be putting on nail tips, so we don't need these. Let me open up this dip kit and see what all comes in this. All right, so all of the bottles are in here. So we got Erase, which is the gel polish remover. I'm just checking to see if this has acetone in it. It says without drying out the skin. So I'm guessing this one doesn't have acetone. Oh, <laughs> first ingredient is acetone. But this nail polish does have acetone in it, so it will work. It just has other stuff in it as well. And then we have the Purify Pre and Post Application Cleanser. Okay, so the Purify is basically alcohol and acetone and a bunch of other stuff, but it's a cleaner. And then on the dips, we got the base coat, the brush softener, and the activator. So it also comes with these instructions. So, <laughs> dip colors. Create intense, vibrant colors with perfect, even application. This odorless formula is sure to give you the perfect runway nails every time. Those are some bold claims. <laughs> All right, but it does show you step-by-step step on how to do these dip powder nails. Okay, let me see the tips and tricks because it doesn't really specify how many coats of dip powder. Dip in a 45 degree angle. Do not twist, swirl. Do not stir nail while dipping. <laughs> That's a new one. Don't stir your nail. Okay, so I'm guessing they're saying you should only do two coats of this. Uh, you know, I do my dip powder nails differently, so we're gonna see how this works out. It'll be all right. So the main thing that I'm excited about is this. Um, what got me ultimately was this case. It was like, especially after traveling, I was like, I need a, a hard case for nail products. But you know, I could have got that without getting this, but you know, this is cute. <laughs> All right, so let's take this off. Oh, look how cute that is. 
That is so cute. All right, so yeah, this just kind of just tells you everything that comes in this in this kit and you know, some instructions, but there better be some inside. So yeah, although this was very, very pretty, um, this was so pricey. Like, I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> But, you know, we are gonna see. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock it. And this is what the inside looks like. It's kind of huge here, so I'm not sure if I can get everything, but, oh, I like this separator. So you can put your things in there. And then we got a buffer. Oh, this comes, this is professional. So yeah, let's go ahead and just take all this out. And of course you get keys, but I don't know. They're not particularly high quality. <laughs> but I think that's it. Okay, I'm sorry y'all. My camera's having a hard time focusing on all of this black, but you have little elastic bands here to put your tools. And there's also a pocket right here. So the organization is on point. I wish I had this when I went out of town. I used a backpack <laughs> and all my stuff was just kind of flying around. All right, so in this kit, you get some manicure sticks. Oh, you get a bunch of stuff. I don't know what these stickers are for, but this is the emery board here for filing the natural nails. You get a buffer. Oh, these are nail foils to take off the gel polish. Brilliant. And then you got some, these look like some lint-free wipes. Oh, let me, let me put this back. Put that back in there. Oh, but I like this. Oh, let me zoom out. But I love that this thing has this and these bars in here. You can kind of just place this wherever you need it. Really cool. And then you got this little set here that's all plastic up. Okay, so I get more of the erase and purifier. We get a top coat, a cuticle oil, nail prep, and a base coat. You get one gel polish. That's the reason why I picked up a few other colors because I wasn't sure how this color was gonna look on me. So I got some things that may look a little better. And you get a nail lamp with cord. This nail lamp is really nice. <laughs> I mean, it's it's definitely a different shape than I have seen. Y'all know I've seen my fair share of nail lamps. It's lightweight, you know, but it feels like it's gonna be good quality. Okay, and then we got the instructional booklet. Okay, I did wanna see what type of light this was. So this is the Pro 30 LED lamp and it, tell, it tells you the recommended times. Okay, so for the pro lights, these two, you have to cure everything for 30 seconds. Oh, this goes into detail about your prep and everything. Ooh, I don't know what it is, but I have a thing for like colored pamphlets and booklets. It just, it, it feels like they, they really care about you knowing the instructions. <laughs> All right, and they even tell you how to take everything off, so yay. I mean, you know, if you want to get everything you need, I don't know. This thing was a hundred dollars though. The case is cute though. Oh, and it says save these instructions. Okay, <laughs> I will. All right, so to the dip powders, let me open these up and see which one I want to use. Oh, what's happening here? What is that? Hmm. I am not sure what this piece is. I have to read to find out. All right, so this color is Brood Nude, and this one is called Catch Me Backstage. Oh, see, now this one's in sideways. I don't know, am I slow? <laughs> am I slow? Maybe this is supposed to be like a swatch or a scooper or I don't know. I need to know. I need to know what this is so I can tell y'all. Oh, I found it. It says, when powder is low, use enclosed spatula to scoop and pour powder over the nail. So 
That's what this is, is a scoop. Because <laughs> I know it's going to be somebody coming saying, ah, you didn't tell us. What is it? All right. I don't know which one of these. I don't even have no seal or nothing on it. Let me do a quick little swatch. All right. So I'm going to take a little bit of this base. We're going to put it over just a tip here. And we're going to dip this in. Ooh, now I do love how smooth this powder is. That, that was a really smooth application. Okay, I think that might be a little too light for me. I don't know. So let's try this other one. I'm gonna put a little bit on here. It still smells like nail glue but it's not as strong as some other kids. I wouldn't say it's odorless though. Yeah, I think the pink, the pink might be a better choice for me. Mm, let me do, let me do a second coat of this. Did it say? Okay, see, it doesn't even say to brush off the excess, so. Mm -hmm. But I just wanna put, another coat just to see how it's gonna look because who knows i may use this one i'm not sure all right it's not looking too bad you know i may use this peach one i say peach but it's supposed to be nude uh because the pink one may just be a little too dark Especially if I'm putting colors on top, I don't want, uh, I don't want the, you know, whatever color I'm putting on top to be like not fully, not fully covering all of this pigmented pink. And these are the swatches if y'all want to see them side by side. Yeah, you can never judge gel polish, acrylic, dip powder. <laughs> you can't judge them really by one coat. You really kind of see what they look like after two. So this is supposed to be catch me backstage. Like this color looks nothing like the box at all. Neither does this one. Like these colors are a little off. I know it's hard to get it perfect, but that was off. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put on my nail tips. I did clear tips for the swatches, but I think I'm gonna use this natural color. It just helps everything just blend better and you know, all that good stuff. So this is what we're gonna use. I should definitely know my sizes by now, but I still have to check. <laughs> so let me go ahead and pick out my sizes. So I have all of my tips picked out and we're gonna go ahead and glue them on. So you can definitely use dip powder on your natural nails, but they not gonna turn out right. And y'all gonna eat me alive for how badly shaped they're gonna be if I do my natural nails. So your girl need a little help and she need tips. So that is why I'm using tips. I'm still probably gonna keep them moderately short. <laughs> I know y'all hate when I be like, it's short and it's like not short for y'all, but you know, short and long, it's like relative now. It's kind of how each person thinks of it. But since these dip powder bottles are a bit small, <laughs> I can't go too long. So that's why we're gonna keep them, you know, the size to get inside of the jar. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this on like so. I think the natural color is going to be much better as far as just a base color for everything else. Cause I'm excited to use some of the chrome powders and all of that. I don't know, I may have to use a base coat of a different color, but we'll see. I have to be really careful <laughs> with my nails because they've been through some work y'all. They don't hurt, but they feel like they've been through some work. <laughs> um, and also I just wanna make sure this is straight. It's been one too many times I done glued on a nail crooked. So mad because the glue holds it so well and you can't get it off. <laughs> and yeah, it is a pain. 
I know when I was on set working on my top secret collaboration in New York, uh, they had a nail tech on, on set helping me. And so she was working on my uh, middle finger and I was like, Ooh, that's my problem finger, it's crooked. <laughs> And I could I could tell it kind of gave her a little bit of an issue, but you know, having the heads up like, hey, this nail's gonna be a problem, so just so you know. But you know, since I'm me and I do my nails over and over again, I know, I know that I need to just tilt the nail tip to the right a little bit. <laughs> All right, we got them on. And y'all, I was trying to see if Ulta had nail tips, but they didn't. They didn't have any nail tips. So these tips ain't from Ulta, but you know, your girl needs some nail tips. <laughs> and make sure to squeeze some sides. Especially with dip nails, you wanna make sure your nail tips are on as smooth as possible because the powder is gonna call you out, okay? It's gonna be like, this is uneven. A lot of people been asking me to try the magnet trick. I just, I ain't got around to finding and buying magnets. So <laughs> that's just too much. I already got a lot of nail products to keep up with. And um, to me, it's not that serious, but I see if you, you know, if you do this for a living, you a nail tech, being able to cut down the nails quickly, I totally get it. It's just, it's just one more thing for me to have to keep up with. <laughs> I'm gonna do them just a tinge longer cause sometimes I go too short and then I'll be mad. And then I just look at everybody, get hit with a nail tip and just see how I want these. For the most part, your girl can eyeball it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my nail drill out again and we're just gonna smooth this area and the sides, take away the shine, you know, all that fun stuff. All right, so I went a little bit shorter and I also blended in the nail tip with my natural nails. Um, so now I'm just going to straighten up the shape a little bit. With dip powder nails, it's best to shape your nails like as close to the final shape as you want it. Cause I mean, depending on the quality of the dip powder, sometimes you're not able to really like file the way that you want to. So I just try to make sure that my shape is there so I don't have to do too much. I ain't gonna mess up a little bit. This one's just a taint cricket, but we gonna have to work with it. What I typically do is if one side is, you know, leaning more towards the other, I'll bring the opposite side in a little bit. It doesn't look as bad. Okay, I think I straightened it up. Ooh, I'm crooked fingers, man, they get you. Okay, so let me just look over these instructions one more time, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. It's your standard dip powder application. It wants me to wipe my nails with the, the Purify. So taking a lint-free wipe, and they want us to wipe away, to wipe our nails, get off all the oils and the dust. I mean, it smells like alcohol, but it's not as strong. Right, so I got my dip base and my dip powder. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I do want to say that if you are doing this on your natural nails, you will just dip your whole nail in there and do that twice. But because I have a little bit of extension, I like to do my dip powders a certain way. So if y'all been following me, y'all know. And what I like to do is just take the base and I like to just do a strip like this down the center but not touching the cuticle area just kind of you know and then they said dip your nail at a 45 degree angle and pull it back tap off the excess the instructions didn't say a definite time to wait after you dip i would just uh give it about five, 10 seconds. <laughs> Nail glue dries pretty quick, but you also wanna make sure that it is dry. It also didn't mention about like dusting off the excess because even though I tapped off the excess, it's still loose powder on here and you don't wanna just keep like just dipping over it. So 
they should have said. And then grab a duster and lightly dust off. You see what I'm saying? Like now you can tell that you need to dust these off. So yeah, I think the instructions are a tad bit incomplete, especially for somebody who's never done this before. Y'all missing some stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some more and we're just gonna go on the side now and go a little bit further past where we went. And they do say a thin layer, definitely make it a thin layer. Make it a thin, smooth layer, right? And we're gonna dip right in here. I must say though, I love the fineness of this powder. It is so fine. The finer the powder, the smoother your dip powder application is gonna be. Now, I didn't have to sit a full 30 seconds, so you know, just kind of gauge it as you work. The main thing is you don't want to smear it because then it won't be smooth. <laughs> you want to make sure the base coat or the nail glue is completely dry. And I'm just gonna lightly dust off the excess. So yeah, as y'all can see, it's not gonna be super thick, but it's gonna have a nice smooth, you know, smooth <laughs> but yeah this is this is what i find works for me i mean i'm sure it also depends on your nails and your length and all that but i like to do it like this so then we're just gonna get really close to the cuticle and smooth it over the whole nail making sure you get the sides because that is what is important What is this? This is my third dip. So we're gonna dip at a 45 degree. And with my nails this length, I have plenty of room for this jar. So yeah. Okay, so you can see where I'm going, where she's going. <laughs> So we're gonna let this sit a little bit and let it dry. And as y'all can see, the nail isn't thick. That's kinda what be my issue with dip powder is like, I have to get the layers on there so we can have the full coverage. So there aren't any like splotchy or, you know, sparse areas of the nail. So I put my layers on and then I try not to have the nail too thick, but I don't know. Dip powder sometimes be looking a little thick to me. All right, and we're gonna dust this off. Oh yeah, this color is actually really pretty. So I'm gonna do one more coat and this is just to kind of really get close to that cuticle area. I'm just going to try not to flood the cuticle. This one, uh, it doesn't seem to run, which is good, but it is a bit looser than some of the other uh, dip powder like base gels that I've, well, base coats that I've tried. This isn't gel. You don't need a nail lamp or anything for this. This is all air dry. Okay. And then we're just going to dip one more time. All right, see, I'm just trying to get that nice cuticle area. She cute though. But yeah, and you also see what I was talking about, about shaping it as close to the shape that you want it. Um, Cause as you guys can see, I don't have to do too much shaping. You don't want to, you know, foul too much with dip powder because after all, it's just powder. So you're going to foul that away. <laughs> so you want to make sure that this is, you know, nice and smooth. Okay, I feel like that's set long enough. I'm gonna lightly dust off. And that is my finished dip powder nail. That came out much better than I was expecting. <laughs> okay, so instructions say to repeat this. Do one nail at a time, repeat on all nails. So that is what I'm gonna do and I'll be back. So while doing these nails, I did notice that even though my nails are pretty short, I have a little problem with getting really close to the cuticle areas on my bigger nails. So I've had to use the enclosed scoop <laughs> to scoop 
the powder on the nails. And it seems to be working. The scoop kind of gives you a really good amount of powder to pour. So I just wanted to show y'all that it's not all perfect. <laughs> I do have to use this scoop a little bit. So all of the dip powder is laid, <laughs> dipped. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and apply the activator. That is this right here. And this is just gonna ensure that all of the base gel, I keep saying gel, it's not gel, the base coat, nail glue, it's gonna ensure that that base coat is dry because essentially it is nail glue. So we need to make sure that all the layers are dry. I don't know, to me, applying the activator is just so satisfying and make sure to get the tip as well. So yeah, you wanna make sure to apply this generously because you don't wanna run into any gummy areas when you get the filing. And when I say gummy, that is basically the nail glue that's basically holding all this nail together. That means it's not fully dry. So you'll come across places that, that just turns into gum when you try to file it, so. We don't want that. We want this nail to be strong and we want to be able to file it. So my thing is just any parts where you see is dry, <laughs> you don't want those dry anymore. You want to saturate it. And with all chemicals, you want to make sure to not get this on your skin. These are chemicals. <laughs> so you could have an allergic reaction or whatever to these. So just try to keep them away from your skin but I don't think we're gonna have any gummy problems with this dip powder because as I was saying, it is so finely milled. Like it's a super, super fine powder, which means that anything you put on top of this, like this activator, it's gonna be able to soak through all of these layers. So I think we'll be fine. So after applying all of the activator to all the nails, it wants you to wait for 20 seconds. It's probably already been that, but we wait. All right, so after waiting, it says to go in with a lint-free wipe and just wipe away the excess activator. I'm just doing it dry. I didn't say to <laughs> use the cleanser, so we just wiping. Apply the activator to all the nails and then it wants me to apply another layer of base coat. I don't wanna do that because I'm not, I'm using like gel polish and stuff anyway, so. But, you know, if you're just doing your dip application, do what they say. I'm just going to take, well, okay. They seem like they hard enough, I hope. <laughs> but I am gonna take the 180 side of my file, which is the finer grit side, because you don't need to go too ham, y'all. You would definitely over file these if you do. So I am just gonna do some light filing. Trying to show y'all, but as I was filing the side of this nail, I ran into a gummy spot. So, so I'm just gonna apply a little more activator on this side. We're just gonna wait 20 seconds and I'll come back to that nail. But I wanted to show y'all that yes, I ran into a gummy spot. <laughs> it happens. All right, so after filing and shaping, I'm gonna go ahead with the buffer that came with the gel kit. And we're just gonna go ahead and buff the nails. And I do wanna point out that that one gummy area that I showed y'all, that was the only one that I ran into. So it wasn't a big problem. And I did all the filing with a hand file. So you don't need a nail drill when you're doing these type of nails. Well, all right. I'm just gonna dust this off. Ooh, cute. All right, so now I need to decide what nail design I'm gonna do. I don't know, it's so many choices. <laughs> but I do know I wanna use these rub-on chromes. They are just so pretty. In the packaging, like, this is what got me in the store. I was like, oh, shiny. <laughs> it doesn't take much. But yeah, I wanna use these. So these are the different colors. Wait, did I really just, <laughs> did I really just buy two of the same color? Oh my goodness. I thought, I thought these were different. Okay, so. <laughs> ah, 
Okay, so I got these these two colors. All right, so I'm pulling out the nail lamp here. It just comes with like a, one of those USB cords and we're just gonna plug it up here. Okay. And just the one button, lights, you know, you know how I go. So yeah, this is just a press button, but it is wide enough for all four fingers to go in and then thumb will have to be separately. But since I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use these, I read the instructions and I should have gotten a black gel polish. But when I'm thinking about it, I don't think they had a black when I was looking. I could be wrong, but at any rate, we are gonna use this black. Uh, use with Instachrome gel step one and three, sold separately. <laughs> I'm telling you, all these products were like a la carte, which is why it came up to be so much. But you know, I guess if you're a nail tech, then this is, you know, business expense. This is what you're gonna need. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just a YouTuber showing y'all some nail products that I bought, so. <laughs> all right, go ahead and open these pins up. Insta pin. I do remember when like these were like all the rage. Everybody had these little chrome pins. Oh, that is gonna make it easy. This is just like a side thought, but I have been loving wearing my natural nails. <laughs> I've been able to do so much. I feel so free. You saw how easy I was able to just peel that out the package. Like, <laughs> it's been awesome. All right, so this one is called Violet Chameleon. And, ooh, that's pretty too. It is so hard to, to show like the color shifting with my studio lights on, but y'all get the point. So first I'm gonna go in with their base coat and I'm gonna apply this to all the nails. And we're just gonna apply a nice thin, even layer of the base. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. So the base coat is on and it does leave a sticky layer. So, you know, you could wipe it off if you want to, but since I am just, you know, steadily working, I'ma just go with the flow. So I wanna do chrome French tips. I have to go in with a matte top coat. This is just so the chrome powder doesn't stick to the rest of the nails. I mean, I guess I could have skipped the base coat, but you know, I want a nice smooth finish, so it's fine. We're just gonna freehand us a little French tip. Some people can do them with the gel liners. <laughs> I learned to do my nails one way, and before I had all the fancy tools, I just used to use the brush to make my French tip. So that is what I'm most comfortable doing. It's pretty much like, I know for me, however I learn how to do something, that's just like the way I know how to do it. If you can do it better with your nail art liner, definitely do that. All right, so black tips are on. It's really cute, it's giving like Wednesday vibes. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my black gel liner. And we're just gonna do some freehand swirls. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, I was wondering, so yeah, all the chrome powder is in the lid and then the brush is what got like a little springy to it. So yeah, I'm gonna see if we can do like, like some ombre or something. All right, so let's put gold on this side. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put gold on this side. And then I'm gonna go on this side with the purple. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, okay. That actually turned out a lot better than what I was expecting to do. And then on this one, we'll just flip it. We'll put the gold on this side. I love chrome powder because 
it really elevates the look. It makes it look like you did way more work than what you really did. On. And so yeah, you just rub this on. This is like so easy. And just do the same thing to the thumb. Yeah, the chrome powders work best when you got you a dark background. Or if you're working with like the unicorn powders or whatever they're calling them now. <laughs> If like those really light pearlescent ones, uh, then a white background is best for those. But these are really good. These are some good powders. I'm just gonna like randomly put it on the gold on the bottom. And just kind of go up a little bit too. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. <laughs> As if I just get a dry white and wipe it okay so that's that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just wipe it off with a dry wipe all right and then i still have to go over this with the top coat cool because i thought i was gonna have to do some crazy cleanup work but all i gotta do is just wipe it off matte top coat for the win all right, so next we're gonna go in with the Instachrome. But I don't know, I think, I think my nail aesthetic is changing. Like, yes, I still like crazy 3D art and crystals and bling and all that, but I'm appreciating like the more simple, simplistic, like this is simple with like a little dash of glam. Could just be that I'm getting older. <laughs> yeah, I think this has enough pizzazz and I'm just gonna go ahead and seal in all of this. I'm just gonna put this on the entire nail. It's cuticle oil time. So we're gonna go in with the nourishing nail and cuticle oil. See what it smells like. Mm, has like a citrus spa smell to it. I was gonna put some white liner and stuff, but I don't really think I need to. I think I like it like this. It's like a nude, but with something extra. And that's what I'm feeling. Go ahead and rub this in. Oh, the oil feels really good. It's not too heavy. And here is the finished look. I think these turned out really, really cute. I love the chrome powder. If you have an Ulta near you, then you can pretty much get all the dip products that you need to do cute little dip nails at home. So if y'all wanna see me try more products from various stores, check out the videos right here, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.